what I usually tell my patients about what we need for success of IVF or in general to you know, achieve the pregnancy is we need two things. We need seed and the soil. And in our body, it's embryo and endometrium. Endometrium is the uterine lining. And the sole purpose of this tissue in the body is to actually harbor the embryo. Even if we have the best quality embryo available, without appropriately developed normal endometrium, pregnancy is very difficult to achieve or impossible to achieve. So endometrium plays a really, really important part in the ultimate goal of our patients and in general anyone who wants to get pregnant. There are several conditions that can affect endometrium or uterine lining. So depending on every different situation, the treatment and the management can be different. At Stanford, we do have endometrial health program, which is directed exactly on improving the implantation rates in patients that have issues with endometrium. We know the results if patient is pregnant or not pretty soon. After uh, transferring embryo on uh, day five, day six, we know after nine days. And after transferring day three embryos, for example, we know after 12 days that patient is pregnant or unfortunately not pregnant. What we are trying to do is just mimic what really happens in nature. We have to comply with the timing that nature dictates us. 